Prime Minister Narendra Modi today launched the Rosegar Mela, the recruitment drive for 10 lakh personnel via video conferencing. During the ceremony, appointment letters were handed over to 75,000 newly inducted appointees. In Meghalaya, Union Law Minister Kiran Rejiju handed over the appointment letters to the youth. The new recruits selected from across the country will join 38 ministries and departments of Government of India. The appointees will join the government at various levels at Group A, Group B gazetted, Group B non-gazetted and Group C. The posts on which appointments are being made include Central Armed Force Personnel, Sub-Inspector, Constable, LDC, Steno, Income Tax Inspectors, among others. Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju today informed that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be making a visit to Shillong on the 7th of November. He made the announcement at the Rosegar Mela, the recruitment drive held at SRGT Polo Ground Shillong for the state, which was launched virtually by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Speaking at the gathering, Rijiju said that under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the North East has become a priority for the Government of India. He said that now, with the intervention of the central government, the North East region is becoming one of the fastest growing economies in the country. आज के समय में प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने एक तय किया है किसी भी कार्यक्रम में कोई भी स्कीम हो कैबिनेट मीटिंग हो सबसे पहले यही पूछता है कि ये सारा स्कीम नॉर्थ ईस्ट में पहला इंप्लीमेंट करो फिर उसके बाद में बाकी राज्यों का भी देखना जरूरी है मतलब नॉर्थ ईस्ट प्रायोरिटी हो गया पहले नॉर्थ ईस्ट को स्टेट मॉडल में ट्रीट करते थे मैं खुद ऑपोजिशन एमपी थे कई साल हमने देखे हैं हम उस समय जब कहते थे कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट को प्रायोरिटी देना चाहिए एज ए ऑपोजिशन एमपी मैं बहुत बोलते थे बहुत एक्टिव थे लेकिन उतना हमारे ऊपर में कृपा नहीं होते थे आज तो कहने का जरूरत ही नहीं है प्राइम मिनिस्टर तो कितना बार नॉर्थ ईस्ट आया अभी सात तारीख को फिर प्राइम मिनिस्टर शिलोंग आ रहे हैं Responding to a query regarding the state's failure to secure any medals in the recently concluded National Games held in Gujarat, Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Bantai Darling Daw said that to become professionals and win medals, sports should be looked at as a profession and not as a game of fun. He added that for the past several years, the state lacked a sports policy. He also added that the state also lacks good sports infrastructure and professional coaches in various disciplines. He said that the government is trying to address the issue by improving infrastructure and reviving competitions such as the Meghalaya Games. We have to take sports as a profession, not just playing like that for fun. Playing for fun, I'll tell you, you want to win medal and just wasting of money for participation. That's why we didn't, we didn't get medal for this uh, uh, Gujarat national game. But definitely for other games, I'll tell you, we will get medal. And we are into, you know, a war footing to strengthen and come up with the best infrastructure like GN complex and other uh, uh, major uh, infrastructure, PSMA stadium and other, you know, around Shillong, outskirts Shillong and within the state only. So that's why we need to have a good venue for practice also. And we need to have a good system. You see, I'll tell you, training is very important from the young age. Not, you know, you just start playing football for the age of 15. But if we, if we want to be professional, to, ex, to, to, to be professional and to play a good game, I'll tell you, we need to start from the young age. That's why I'll tell you one thing. We, has, we have to have a game, a kind of Mechlea game which we revive again. After 16, 17 years, we come up with a, with a Mechlea game again. And... Now we will have we we, we will have this uh, North East Olympic. This you know this type of you know uh, competition we need to have from time to time, which our youth our athletes they sh can take part. Then you will see the light of the day. You will see at least we will get some you know uh, 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 good result. Otherwise, I'll tell you just wasting of money. That's why we are trying. 
Updating on the funding the state was to receive for the construction of multi-facility stadium to host national games by the Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Bantai Dorling Do said that the fund, which has been reduced to around 200 crores, hasn't been sanctioned by the central government as yet. He added that the state government has identified around 20 acres of land in New Shillong Township for the stadium. 200 crores something they brought down, but it's still lying with the government of India. It's the ball with it's with the government of India to approve or to sanction that scheme. See, I'll tell you the coordination between, I, I'll tell you we already uh, coordinate with the government of India, but once we uh, uh, get the information, it's lying with the government of India, with the finance ministry. To really to sanction the thing. No, that's why though they said wait, let us uh, you know uh, sanction the scheme, then you can start. But till now we didn't get any information. Even last one month or so, I've already inquired that thing. Then now they haven't you know sent any. We, we didn't get any information. No, no approval. I mean sanction, sanction till now has not been done. That's why, as you aware and you know that the the land is available, state government land. I think we can it can be construct, you know, in the here and there, but it should be in the government land. No, land is all even identified by the state government for this particular project. Around uh, 20 acres something. It should be around 20 acres something. Speaking to press persons after attending the Rosegar Mela here in Shillong, Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju today said that Meghalaya deserves more legislators from the BJP. He added that although the MDA government, led by the NPP, is doing a good job in the state, but if the BJP has a major role in governance, there will be more development and more benefit for the people. Meghalaya, I think, uh, is one of a very vibrant state. And uh, NDA has to have uh, a major role in the governance here, otherwise uh, uh, it will be unfortunate for the people. Meghalaya people have voted for the NDA led by uh, the NPP, uh, our Conrad Sangma's party. They are doing good job, but I wish BJP has a more role in the government, because more role of BJP will bring more development and more benefits to the people. I have seen wherever BJP is in power or where BJP has a larger role in the government, the benefits to the people are much more because BJP has a one single agenda of working for the people. We work in a mission mode. We have no time, no energy for ourselves. We dedicate everything for the people. So Meghalaya deserves uh, more MLAs from BJP party. The present government in Meghalaya is doing uh, lots of good things. But these good things can be given a, a more proper push if BJP comes to a bigger role in the government. Meanwhile, on the demand for ILP in the state, the union law minister said that the demands of the local people have its own relevance and the government has to take a collective decision on the matter. The local demands, the uh, issues raised by the local people here, it has its own relevance and importance and the government has to take a collective decision uh, taking into account the larger interests of everyone. Representatives of the Meghalaya SSA Schools Association yesterday met with Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong over various demands including implementation of quarterly system for payment of SSA teachers' salaries and constitution of the State Education Commission to address grievances. Via a press note, the association informed that the Deputy Chief Minister stated that the government will do its best to release salaries of SSA teachers for the month of September, October and November before Christmas. AITC State President Charles Pungrobe on Friday said that the concerns of the Meghalaya Government Lower Primary School Contractual Teachers Association should be taken more seriously by the government. He urged the MDA government to look into the matter with sincerity and develop a plan of action on priority to address the concerns raised by the contractual teachers. Well, the teachers may have uh, now stopped the agitation or protests. But the government needs to do something about this. Therefore, the, the concerns of the 
Meghalaya Government Lower Primary School Contractual Teachers Association should be taken a bit more seriously by this government and uh, try and address their issues so that they deserve whatever benefits they need to get from this uh, protest that they had. After all, we cannot just forget the massive contribution they have given to society by, by imparting quality education to all our students. Cabinet Minister and UDP leader Kerman Shilla said that the United Democratic Party is aiming at securing a single majority in the upcoming elections and leading the government. On corruption charges against the MDA, he said that allegations should not be made without any proof. Yang kata single majority, dan long ke ek ek ke bawah sini tenang, lada nila pan long kunta. Hendre, aku cukup perlu minum e yang kini diperlok di kelik jungi, kampung di perlok lah ijo dan tin bangi. Ingin ia dalam langi, aku kata government lada nilit ini bangi, lada nijo ega majority ru long inde pan di pride di perlok. Nengi skim bah, di pay bah cisen, kini ayi ni kelat pan. Ia lama no ega government, aku kata state ijo ni. Di pay bah long Kilapan ketahui ikan cium pamsa. Dari nelayan cumi antil alias ni yo ikan proof against jono jono no. Minum lah hebat orang direct boleh tahu lah pamsa. PDF leader and cabinet minister Bantai Darling Dok has stated that the party will be contesting in 15 to 20 constituencies in the upcoming assembly elections. He added that he was hopeful the party will secure more seats in 2023 and that the party till now hasn't decided on a pre-poll alliance with any party. In a major operation, the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence on Thursday seized 2.21 kilograms of heroin worth Rs 15.54 crores in the international illicit market smuggled through the Indo-Myanmar border at Maurunkanang in East Khasi Hills district. Two persons have been arrested, the DRI informed via a press note. It was informed that DRI Shlong intercepted a vehicle in which the two suspects were traveling in at Maurunkanang and recovered 150 soap cases of pink Pinkish powder wrapped in polythene sachets and thus confirmed the presence of heroin in the substance recovered. It was also informed that as per preliminary investigations, the consignment had come from Manipur and was meant for Shillong-based drug syndicates.